Jones. Hello again, fellow YouTubers. Salt and Pleasant back for another top 12. Because honestly, if you read the title, you know these are top 12s. Hey, I can see the reflection of the camera. Cool. Anyway, so I'm here with Monty again. I'm not saying your full name. That's you can say fine. Your name. I'm Monty Cat1432. Monty, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Monty. He's been in my videos for a while. So. What we are doing today is following up on the last video we did, which was the top 12 hated cards. And now we're doing the top 12, our most favorite cards. Yay! We're and let me, heads. let me repeat this again, guys. This is our opinion. And also, this is not necessarily power-based. It's not necessarily art-based. Okay, it's what is we based, enjoy. It's just what our favorite feel. cards yeah. are. It, so your list is probably going to be a lot different. And... I've actually thrown in full, like, archetypes, and I've thrown in even a clan or two, just because I like them. Yeah, so no limitations, no rules, it's just pretty a, much most clans. Honestly, at Ranger isn't on here. At Ranger is not on here because I don't feel like they're a true clan. Now, now some they, people would agree with, disagree with me, yeah. but when I We're think of a clan, I think clans. of it as a playable clan, don't yeah. you think? Yeah, that's usually how I feel, and... Honestly, even if they were a full clan, I wouldn't have them on here. I'm just not. All right. I'm. Anywho, so we'll start with our honorable mentions. You can go first. I've got a very short honorable mentions list. We'll start with mine just because his is much longer. Indeed. Calculator hippo. Ha! <laughs> I only like. I it. know that joke. I yeah, get it's, If you don't know it, go look it up. We yeah, explained it in the past. Brutal Jack, just because it was our first 11k. That's true. Th that's the reason why I like it so much. It's our first 11k, and it was one of the first units we ever saw for uh, Nova Grappler. Yeah. I get that. Bermuda Triangle? Everything in there? Pretty much, yeah. I don't... I would like to see somebody who hates Bermuda Triangle and know why. Yeah. I, I don't know that. any person who really hates Bermuda Triangle. There are some units in this, like, eh, but I, most, yeah. most all of them I like. And then, uh, Conroe. Oh, should we announce it? Conroe's dead! He got banned in America. I learned no, about this. No, he's coming up to being banned. Yeah, he'll be banned in August. I learned about this yesterday. Um, today is August. Yeah, today is August. It's like in August 20th, maybe? I don't know. Uh, it's, it's sad. Banned. It should be banned by the time this video gets older. Yeah, but it's kind of sad. I mean, that was one of the first really good starter units. Yep. And, and I mean, up. moving on to Red Pulse. <laughs> Or, uh... Sealed dragons use terry cloth, so... Yeah. Almost nobody's gonna be like, oh. Yeah, Red Pulse becomes the new one just because Conroe's getting... Well, Conroe's already banned in Japan anyway. Yeah. It's But the only reason why it's probably getting banned here is because of Novel Lodge. <laughs> I swear to God, we're trying to keep this positive. Keep it positive, keep it positive. Gonna keep try. Alright. To your honorable mentions. My honorable mentions are a bit longer, so I'm gonna keep them as short as possible. From Noah's, I have Brutal Jack. I just like Brutal Jack. I think he's fine. Gold Brutile, because that's probably one of the few Noah units I truly think actually tries and likes. And I like, so... I like Gold Brutile. Um, from Die Police, Zeal. His name's fun to say, so I like Zeal. Also, his pose is pretty fun. Just look at his pose. He's like... He's doing that. He's from Great Nature... He is. <laughs> uh, I remember that joke. Um, from Great Nature, uh, School Dominator Apt, the Great Three Penguin, because penguins are awesome. Uh... The other, most of the birds in um, Great Nature, I think, are okay. Yeah. Uh, Bermuda Triangle, everything. Like I, my reason. Yeah. No way. I can't find a dislike from Bermuda's. From Pale Moon, uh, Starlight Mel Melody Tamer Farish and Mistress Hurricane because I like their artwork. Those are some pretty awesome artwork. Mistress Hurricane needs to get more play. It's terrible. I know it is. It just needs more play. It, nobody will use it ever. Nobody's gonna use it. I'm it's, sorry for the people who use it. I've never seen a person use Mistress Hurricane. I can understand why. Uh, from Murkumo, uh, I'm cheating here. Fantasy Petal Storm Saruki. I like her artwork. She's also got really good artwork. And is a pretty good Murkumo unit when you break right her. That combo's pretty good. Um, from Oracles, Goss of the Full Moon, Tetsuki Yomi. I like that artwork as well. As lo you'll see that card. You'll see a lot of Oracle Think Tank cards on my list just because that's my personal favorite card. I kind of like Scarlet Witch Coco, I'm going to be honest. I just like the artwork. That thing just dies what Oracle Pink Tank yeah. is. And I also like Son and Tom's artwork. Uh, from Gold, the only gold I somewhat like is Special Duke, just because A, I think his artwork's okay, and B, I feel sad for him. 
he's because dead. he doesn't get played, he's dead. But I don't like him at all, and you guys know why. Look at the last video if you want to know why. From Genesis, I have Omniscience Relic of Minerva, the really expensive Genesis you get. Yes, it's the only really expensive Genesis card. I mean, that thing is 40 to 45 bucks. And on a side note, most of Genesis I actually find okay, so I'm just okay with it. And my last honorable mention shall be Everything in Angel Feather, just because I like the artwork too. Alright, you want to... S Moving on, go to your top 12. My number 12 is Grand Blue. I give up... Everything? It's not everything, it's their concept that I really like. I... I don't play them, but whenever I get a chance to play them, I love their concept of killing stuff to the drop zone and then bringing it back over and over and over again, like a bunch of undead pirates. Scourge of the Undead! Hurting with our zombies. And you gotta feel kind of bad for Kukaitis. I do feel bad for Kukaitis. Just because of the fact that everybody hates him. I like Kokaitis. No, I'm, with the no, I'm talking with the about in the clan. <laughs> That's true, everybody hates him. Nobody the truly likes No, everybody likes Kokaitis. <laughs> because of what Kokaitis did. But afterward, you kind of feel sad for him, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's my number 12, is Grand Blue, their idea. My number 12 was originally Hell Spider, but I kind of morphed into just most of the Mega Colony Grade 3s. Violent Vesper's pretty cool. Um, I like Master Beetle. Calamitooth, despite your hate for him, I just lo I just kind of feel like in most of Mega Colony's Grade 3 lineup, I'm okay with. Spark Hercules, I'm a little iffy on, but that's just more the The only one I know that you don't like is Death Warden. Oh, I'm okay with Death Warden. He's just terrible. Yeah, he's god-awful. He's god-awful. Poor he, Death Warden. He makes Mega Blasters look god-awful. He makes them look bad. But mostly Hell Spider, though, because he's Predator. Hell Spider is Predator. But he but, got turned into Prey when the machines came out. Yeah. So, most of the great threes from Mega Colony I like, so I just put them together as my top 12. Most of my other, most of my others on this list will be, have a little bit better reasoning, but moving on to your number 11. My number 11 is Edel Rose. Okay. I like the look of this card, I like the concept of the card, and frankly, I look at it this way. It's Freddy Krueger as a girl. Yep. And one of my, some of my... Japanese Freddy Krueger. Pretty much. I mean, one of my favorite series of horror movies besides the Saw franchise is The Nightmare on Elm Street with Freddy Krueger. That glove is pretty awesome. Yeah, and frankly, if I could, I want to meet the guy who actually played Freddy Krueger. Um, I've seen him on TV before. Yeah, but I actually want to meet him in person. He might be at a Comic-Con at some point. I do want to go to next year's Comic-Con, just because this year seemed really cool. Indeed. Shall I move on to my number 11? Yeah, and move on to yours. My number 11 is Ancient Dragon Tyranno Legend. Wow. So many people actually... Like, a lot of Tachi play, players give him crap because people are just gonna spam the break with Dark Rex. There's this one guy that I know who's doing that. You know who you are. Oh, come on. Leave him he out knows of who this. He, knows. he knows who he is. I like Tyranno Legend. Mainly because, first off, he's just a beefcake. That's... Like, when you break ride him and then use his skill, he's literally just gonna come at you like a brick wall to the point where you're gonna peek guard it. Like, literally, that's the only thing stopping him. But here's the thing. Uh, I feel like, uh... And you can actually use him with, uh, the Great Zero. The Great Zero works with Technology. Oh, on um, Bay Rex? Because it yeah, calls it him Yeah, it literally out. calls him out. From the deck, that's a freaking amazing. Call out a Great Three! Instantly! <laughs> Yes, um, I like the mach the way he's designed. I'm a fan of machine like Gatling Dino style. Machines. I'm a fan of Gatling style like guns, like mini guns. I'm a fan of that. I find that cool because there's multiple barrels of death. So seeing two mounted on his shoulders is pretty awesome. Gatling Owl is pretty cool, but I really like Tyrant Legend. He's probably going to be my favorite Tachi unit until he something new comes out. Until something better or cooler comes out. But for right now, it's Tyrant Legend. So that's my number. And number 10 is Oberos Dragon. Okay. I like him just because of the fact that I'm one of the only people I know who can get him to work. I've seen him work. He is effective when he works, so I can understand liking him. Yeah, but he's... He, some people can't get him to work at all. He works great with the brake ride, by the way. Yes, he does. That is an awesome combination. But other than that, it's pretty... I like him just because of his artwork and the fact that I'm one of the only people who can get him off to work off. Indeed. But I can understand that. My number 10, then? Yeah, you're number 10. Juggernaut Maximum! I knew you were going to put some Spike Bros units on here. Go, Roids Rage Warrior! Because Maximum is a beefcake. 
and also one of the best functioning units in Spike Brothers. Ha! <laughs> We're tempting my dog to mess with stuff. He'll, he'll bark at some point, so we're just going to throw that out there. Anywho, he, he is one of the best units. Well, move on. So, Maximum. He is probably, like, one of the main functioning things in most Spike Brothers decks. Like, name a Spike Brothers deck that doesn't have him. Uh, Bloody Ogre deck? Screw Bloody Ogre. People don't run Juggernauts with Bloody Ogre. I, I don't understand. That's why I don't like Bloody Ogre. Because Juggernaut Maximum is awesome. Well, Bloody Ogre doesn't take the whole idea of calling from the deck. Either. Exactly. That's why I don't like him. Anyway. Maximum is just a tank. And combine him with the Break Ride. And he's combined with the Break Ride, and he's just a beat gank. Uh -huh. All fear the amazingness that is Juggernaut Maximum. So, moving on to your number nine. My number nine is Match to Lord Buster. I thought this would be a little bit higher, but I'm not surprised it's on the list. I don't have it higher just because of the fact that the I can't put him any higher. The other units I like too bad, I like better. But, other than that, uh, one reason that I like him is the fact that he t he's one of the only units where you can actually dual clan and make it work. That's true. Um, Legion's making dual clanning a better thing now, but I really don't care. I don't even think that Legion will make it good. You, he took two rival clans and made them work together. That is pretty awesome. And for the fact that the uh, break right for uh, Jewel Knights doesn't work with Jewel Knights, but it works amazing with him. Yep, just get plus 10 and a crit. It's an instant plus 10 and a crit when you break right on top of them. <laughs> and that's amazing. You can get up to like forty to 50,000 power with him. Oh well, yeah, he can be uh, effective. He can be big when he wants to. But yeah, that's my main reason. I mean, he's effective. I can understand liking him. I, I he's only it. effective for that one shot turn, but I've been able to kill people on that one shot turn. That makes sense. Because I can have... 20 to 22 columns plus him. It's hitting hard. So. My number nine then? Your number nine. My number nine is, and I'm not entirely shocked that I put him on this list, but i kind of odd that I didn't acknowledge it up until now. And that would be Blaster Dark. And most of the, and all the Revengers. I like the Revenger artwork. I think it's pretty good. And I just have a certain liking towards Blaster Dark that I don't fully understand. I just like it. Maybe he's hypnotized. Ooh. Yeah, and I do like Blaster Dark Revenger. He's pretty awesome. Just nerf a unit. Well, you all... The, I, I like the fact that they came up with, like, a dark side to Blaster Blade. Yeah. I do personally... I personally find Shadow Paladin as a clan where I like it. And it's something where I'm just like, yeah, I don't have any, any problem against people using it. Well, so, like, everybody uses Raging Form, but I don't complain about that in the slightest. Well, people are really going to complain when the uh, new unit comes out. Drag? Yeah, drag. Dra people are going to complain and about I don't complain about it in the slightest. I've Well, that's against because him. you, you just no built the deck. Yeah, I have no complaints towards Drag Ruler, though. Even when I didn't have a deck build, and when I was versing against I'm like, yeah, that's fine. It's... People are gonna complain about it. I know it. I uh, yeah, I can see that. Frankly, if I if I was gonna build this clan, I'd build the old world. Overlord? D Overlord. And I actually not even use uh the original Overlord, I just use Overlord the End and the Brick Rod. That's the combination I'd use. So Phantom Blaster Overlord plus um Mordred Phantom, yeah I could see that. Yeah, just because I feel like that would be a potent combination. That could be an interesting combination. Get plus ten. Get plus ten. Use his skill. Get another plus ten to crit. Yeah, that's an instant 20k in a crit. Die! Yeah, I can see that. Plus. But overall, I just like Blaster Dark. For so I really don't have an explanation for why. I just like him. I just do. So, you're number eight, would it be? Yeah. Alright. Blade Wing Ragey. Yeah, that makes sense. I like this unit for the fact that I don't use him much in my de uh, my uh, darker regular deck, but I like him for his artwork. And his skill maxes out on darky regs. Yeah, his skill actually is like, okay, here, you don't have to soul charge the entire time. You only have to soul charge up to 15, and then you... Only stack. 15. <laughs> but, and frankly, you put um, the bike behind him, the death... Um, 
the bike. Demon, Demon bike of the witching hour. You put that behind him. That's a twenty-two column plus three critical. That's amazing. Die. <laughs> and the more cards that are out now, it makes it much easier to get those bikes into the soul. Yeah, it's easy to soul charge with darker bikes nowadays. But it's that strategy kind of gets hit if one of the bikes goes to the damage zone or you draw extra ones. Yeah. Oh, That's kind of why Mon's there to be like, hey, bikes, you need to be in the soul. But I'll Ragey's on skill on. also to, when you ride him, choose a unit on the field and take as and, many copies yeah. from your deck and throw them into the soul. That's really good. That is perfect. Sometimes I do that just to get bike, then I'll ride to Amon. Just because. Amon powerhouse. But yeah, I can understand you like him, Ragey. I get that. So and when he came out, it's like, wow, that's really good. It's still an okay ability. It's an okay ability. It's not that effective anymore, no. but it was a potent combination of other time. So we moving on? You're number eight. My number eight is Blue Storm Dragon Maelstrom, the original artwork. I like this for a couple reasons. One, because I was thinking of what kind of clan I... And I've always been kind of on a fence with Aqua Force. This is the one card where I'm just like, yes, I want to use this card. And actually, the first box opening vid I did on this channel, first pack I ever opened, Maelstrom. It was basically like, yeah, you need to build us. Then he broke them apart. And, and then I put them back together. I put, I've put, i done a lot, and there will be a deck profile for that one. It's going to take a little bit still because it's missing like two cards, but and it's almost there. I thought you were going to throw a lot more of the blue stuff, storm and stuff in when it comes out. It's up. Uh, I'm just basically going to throw stuff together, but that's a video for another day. Yeah. I just like Maelstrom. So when I see a reverse Maelstrom, like, oh god, Maelstrom, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry we forgot about you. You clearly have fallen now. Because that's literally... He has no eyes anymore. No. Please. So it, it's like he's possessed. He technically was possessed. He is possessed, but... By, the, vo by the void. Yes. A lot of reverses actually don't look like they're possessed. They just look like they took the power. He looks like he's doing it against his, it's against his will. It, technically, because of his lore, he is doing it against his will. Indeed. So, I just like original Maelstrom, like, normal Blue Storm Dragon Maelstrom, and he's he was pretty good for his time. Not really anymore, but... Not anymore, but he was really good for his time. Like, he was up there at Vermilion price, when Vermilion was expensive. Remember that time, kids? You that was a long that, time ago. Do you remember before the Brick Ride time? Yes, I remember that time. I remember before we had Limit Brick time. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember when Set By was just coming out. That was the very first... Uh, pre-release that was ever out for Vanguard. Indeed. Boy, doesn't that make us seem like senior Vanguard players. Even though we're not. No, we are senior Vanguard players. We've been playing since clo close to the very beginning. You, you've been playing longer than I have, but I've been playing ever since the first pre-release. That's really, really far back. That is far back. And while we're taking a trip down to Stodge, people are like, Hey, why is Vermillion getting support? Vermillion is dead! Yeah, he's dead. He's not coming back, Will. It's kind of sad, actually. It is kind of sad. But... Anywho, your number seven. My number seven? Death Army. The Death Army archetype? Alright, I can get that. I like this archetype. I like the look, because when I was younger, I played a lot of chess, so... It's like, I want to build this clan, but uh, at the same time, I don't want to build this clan. Because it basically focuses around cosmo it focuses on Cosmolarch, but Cosmolarch's not. Is there another grade 3 that works well with Death Army? Do you need to break ride, or...? No, but it just doesn't work well, in my opinion. But, I like the look of the archetype. I mean, it's a different idea, and it's based off chess, so... That's I why... That. The main reason is because of chess. I love chess, so... That is totally reasonable. It's from something from my past that I like to always remember. Indeed. So, my number seven. Now, I'm just gonna... Let you just, just... When I say this... I'll keep an open mind. Just keep an open mind with this. Despite everything I've said, I put Chaos Breaker at number seven. And most of the Link Joker clan. Now, hear me out on this. Their artwork is actually not bad. The, no, their artwork That's the one thing I've never complained about with Link Joker. No. Their artwork is very interesting. I and do... The fact that their every units are based off the periodic table of elements? 
that is also a good concept. And when I actually first introduced this to some of my other friends, they were like, oh, that is pretty cool. I'm like, yeah, it is. Uh, frankly, I thought I was going to do that. I build the deck around the periodic table while well, and it's just because of you that. You can. Because ev every single name is a periodic table. Also, another note, every single unit has a black ring. There is no unit that does not have a black ring. Duh. It's because it's controlled by the void. Ooh, the void. And I just like Chaos Breaker's lore. Like, he is a jerk. He's like the biggest jerk ever. Like, literally, some of the reverses he's committed, he just did it because he could. It's like, I will bring up Dauntless, because he literally made Dauntless's skill the opposite of Dauntless's personality. And, and it's like, oh, you oh jerk. My God. <laughs> you and jerk. do you know how much Dauntless is actually going for right now? It's kind of ridiculous. Um, he's middle. He's middle price. I mean, the reverse Dauntless. Yeah, reverse Dauntless, he's middle price. Minerva's but, still more expensive. Duh, but what's, what's middle price for you? Like 15, stuff like that. He's going for higher. No, he's not. He's going for lower. Oh. He's going at max of 10. Really? That is kind of For what I've seen, he's at a max of 10. Now he could go up, he could go down. I haven't checked the prices in a little while, so... But just from what I've seen, he's at a max of 10. That could be a little low, but for what I've seen. Anywho, and this is probably damn the video, but anyway. Also, I like Chaos Breaker's Scythe. That is a pretty awesome Scythe. Sites. Yes, and when he first came on the screen, I'm like, holy crap, that looks pretty... <laughs> that is evil. Also, yeah, mainly his lore, because he's such a jerk. He he's is, the mad scientist. Yes, he's the mad scientist of Link Joker. Also, his SP flavor text, I like that motto that he does. His flavor text goes like this. How, it's very easy to break a man's heart. First you give him hope, then you destroy it. I'm just like, huh. That makes sense. Oh, excuse me. That Subway headphones just coming back up. Subway! Sponsorship! Anyway! So, wouldn't we be sponsoring card fighting this? Both. Anywho, but I do like most of their artwork. I will give it that. Their artwork is very interesting. So